Okay, we have here triangle ABC. This triangle, we have a right triangle. It says 90 degrees, angle B. So we have A, B, B, C. B, C is equal to X. A, B is equal to 4. And A, C is the hypotenuse. They're saying the hypotenuse is between 4 and 8. What could be the possible values of X? So if X were 1, using the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse would be square root of 17, which is between 4 and 8. Now we could just do each one of these numbers, going 2, 3, 4, but that'd take a little bit of time. Maybe you could jump ahead to 4. And if you know your 45, 45, 90 properties, you could say, oh, look, that hypotenuse is 4 root 2. Root 2 is approximately equal to 1.4, so 4 times 1.4 is 5.6. So therefore, if 1 works, 4 works, 2 and 3 must work as well, meaning that if this side BC is either 2 and 3, the hypotenuse must still be less than 8. So that's really what the maximum is. So why don't we plug in the maximum? Let's try 6. If x equals 6, using the Pythagorean theorem, we get 16 plus 6 squared, which is 36, which is 52. AC, side squared, therefore square root of both sides. And we don't have to know the exact math, but you know it's a little bit over 7. It's definitely not over 8, because 8 squared is 64. So you can see that, aha. Even if we had a triangle like this, a 4 by 6, the side would still be less than 8. And it says that the hypotenuse is somewhere between 4 and 8. So we can accommodate all of these answers, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And there it is, A, B, C, D, E, F. So there's really no twist there. Just test out the numbers, determine that A works, small one works, and jump all the way down to the other side, F works. Therefore, everything in between works. Maybe you could plug in D. I did here, but really not too much this problem. No subtle twists. Test out the answers and there we go.